Speaker, Madam Speaker, allow me to rise and support this particular My bill. Will be next. My particular bill on the Food and Feed Safety Control Coordination. As we speak on the bill, we would pause and ask how safe is the food that Kenyans are consuming today. This is because the food control mechanisms in the country are not sufficient. We know very well that the only other law that attempts to control food safety in the country is the Food Control and Drug Substances Act. And it is not sufficient. And this is the reason why it now becomes important that a law is put into place to control the safety of food and also the feeds that are fed on our animals. We cannot afford to risk the lives of the people of Kenya by giving to them food that is not fit for human consumption. Thus, we must have some coordinated way of ensuring what Kenyans are fed on is actually uh, good for them. We know very well that we do have problems with the fertilizers we use, the pesticides that are applied, and sometimes we are mocked in the country as to what you really place on the table, whether you know where it has come from. We are told that the best of the vegetables that we enjoy every evening and tubers that are grown all over come from places watered with sewage water because this is when they do very well. We have no control of over this and we do not know whether we can establish it but that may be true to some extent. We are also told that uh, some of the animals, the meats that we enjoy from whether it's beef, it's mutton, it's chicken, may be actually induced with the, some substances that make the animals to grow faster than they should as a result of which you compromise your own uh, health. It's vitally important that um, we know exactly what we are eating. And that's why today we must have this law that regulates the manufacturing, packaging, and distribution of food. Because in most times, the manufacturing itself, you find food being sold along the streets of Nairobi, Mombasa, the other towns all over. You do not know how that food has been manufactured. The packaging may be wanting because in a quick way of baking a bag, the manufacturer may not be able to package that food well as a result of which possibly it's going to be degraded by the vagaries of nature and therefore its composition changing. Distribution. How do we distribute the food that is eaten by, that is consumed by Kenyans? In most cases, we have vans that bring in all manner of food from up country, which vans do not qualify. They cannot pass the test of uh, food safety in any way. Then we go to feeds, and this is what we feed our animals on. You go, you buy whatever natural food you find in the market, you give it to your animals, and as a result of which, the beef, the mutton, uh, whatever you get, the products you get from it, are contaminated. This is because those feeds are actually not certified. They are not particularly produced in hygienic conditions and therefore the food consumed by Kenyans becomes unfit. We also know very well that Kenyans are ingenious when it comes to adulteration of foods. In fact, we are always cautioned that whatever you buy, you must be cautious. Whether it has the label of the Kenya Bureau of Standards, whether it has the other high quality assurance marks, you must be extremely cautious because Kenyans are very good in adulteration, 
Kenyans are very good in counterfeits and other ways of ensuring that they produce lookalike foods which cost much less than the real food because they have to dupe Kenyans to buy that in uh, haste and also in an attempt to make more money. I would give an example of some pro product in uh, my local market. It's known as guzo. Guzo is said to be a form of fermented uh, flour which is supposed to which comes from sorghum which is widely grown in Daraka. Uh, sorghum Gadam sorghum especially is known for beer production. But guzo, which they actually used to make some local brew, which thank God now it's illegal, it may not be sold anywhere. The truth is, we are told that is not for human consumption, it is meant for animal, it's a form of animal feed. But we are able to adulterate it by adding a little bit of uh, um, this baking powder and other additives which make it ferment faster and it is therefore transformed into uh, some beer brewing process which Kenyans find themselves in. Again, this is how ingenious we are and therefore when we say we are going to establish a control coordination office, this is welcome. Uh, like the Kenya Bureau of Standards, like um, the, lake, the liquor control boards and everything else. We want our food also to be controlled so that when you go to consumption, you consume a food that has a label showing it is fit for human consumption. This is a very welcome bill.